It's very weird carving pumpkins when it's like 80 degrees out. Ah! Oh, you cut Look at that. Off my we need your help. We seriously cannot make a decision about this and it's actually like kind of stressing me out. M&Ms. M&Ms, it's a Halloween game. Happy Saturday, we are gonna be carving some pumpkins out on the porch. There's Benny, looking majestic as always. He's so majestic, but yet so dopey at the same time. Boo boo. I love you, boo boo. Oh, Bonk. see, that's what I said, he's kind of a dope. Oh, you got a ball? What is that, boo boo? What is that? It's very weird carving pumpkins when it's like 80 degrees out because usually back home it's like cold and you carve pumpkins and you go outside to light them up and it's like cold outside. But here, it's very hot today. It's an adjustment for sure. Guts really, not really just seeds. Cracking a cold one. I didn't realize you're gonna be up so high. Can you wash pen off of a pumpkin? Peen? Yeah, stab it. With a knife. Whatever, I'll just wing it. That's what I'm doing. Yes. Ah! <laughs> Look at the boo boo. Hello, buddy. Look at the big doggy. Ugh. This thing just cuts like a dream. Like. <laughs> Look at it go. Like, How did you do that so fast? Just, I gotta freaking way with my knives. Isn't, isn't this bad knife safety? Yeah, yeah, but I'm doing it too, so who cares? <laughs> okay, how about you cut the Look top that. off mine? You give it a, sh give it a stab. <laughs> that was so dumb. That's very straight. <gasps> Ta-da! My favorite part is the guts. I love sticking my hands in and feeling all the guts. I love the smell of it too. The sensory, like the feeling of, but I love it. This one's not very gooey though, is yours? Mine's pretty firm. <laughs> Look at Penny. Oh, what are you guys doing? I want to eat it. Want to chai some? Mmm. Here. You can play with it. <laughs> he, he, he don't know. Ooh, ooh, what do you got? What? Hmm. Not bad. He is a fall baby. Pumpkin is supposed to be good for like dog stomachs, I think. Like, I don't know. Like I've it? always heard that if they have like a sore tummy, it's supposed to be good for them, like pumpkin. He ain't wasting no time on it, that's for sure. Look at the artiste. Mine is just a cute little happy face. Spread positivity. Does it need a nose? No. Spooky. <laughs> I'm scared. Hello, everybody. It has been a very eventful day just with kickball. Hey, go! Bang! Outstanding. Okay. We got somebody on base and everybody's safe. Safe, 
see you, buddy. There it is. Here we won! I'm the biggest fan right here, even though he's wearing a Packers shirt. Dedicated. At an awesome, awesome Saucers game. Hey, what jersey are you wearing? I'm wearing... M&M's. M&M's. It's a Halloween game. It's a Packer game. Packers one. And it's a Sunday, so that's usually the day we do all of our laundry and get everything set up. But we actually took some family pictures last week on Sunday, and we got the pictures back this week, and they are amazing. Literally, I will leave her Instagram like somewhere over here, but she is a North Carolina photographer as of right now, and she is amazing. I was so worried that the pictures weren't going to turn out that good just because... She's very big on like catching candid moments. So I was like, these pictures are gonna be awful because she had us like running around and jumping and like holding on to each other and then like flinging each other this way. And I was just like, oh my gosh, these are gonna be awful. But when I got them back, they were seriously the most beautiful pictures that we have ever taken, I think. And I just absolutely love the way she edits too. She does it very dark and moody. I'll leave a couple of pictures right here, a little, little slideshow for you to see what I'm talking about. Anyways, we now have to decide which ones we're going to use for our Christmas card because the main reason I wanted these was to get them for our Christmas card because we don't really have any like professional pictures with Benny. I mean, the ones we do have, he was literally a puppy. It was like the day after we got him. So I wanted to get some with him. And then also I just wanted to get some that really show off like how beautiful the beaches are here because I think I'm going to say like Merry Christmas from North, all the way from North Carolina or something, or sending Christmas wishes from North Carolina because we don't have any family that lives in North Carolina. So the people that we are sending it to, like nobody lives here, so it'll be kind of cool that way. But we need your help. We seriously cannot make a decision about this and it's actually like kind of stressing me out. So we want to do, I was, we are narrowed it down to about five pictures that we love but they're all kind of have like a little bit of a different vibe. So I'll leave them here. So here's number one. Here's number two. Here's number three. Here's number four. And here's the fifth one. So I don't really know which one to choose. Comment below which one you think would be the best for our Christmas cards because I really, I mean me and Al both like the five that I just showed you and they all kind of have like a little bit of a different vibe to them. We loved a lot of the ones of just me and him too, but we definitely want Benny in it because he's our baby right now. Let us know in the comments below which one you like best and which one you think would look best for a Christmas card. They are seriously so beautiful, you guys. If you live in North Carolina or anywhere like near where I live, you should really check out this photographer because she is incredible but we are going to actually have a fire tonight and we are gonna eat some leftovers for dinner and I'm actually making pumpkin seeds, so I wanna get on that now. But I just, we really like, we need your advice on that. So please comment below which one you think is the best. I wanna order them soon because it's already October 17th and I wanna send them out like, I want people to have them by December 1st so that way they can like hang it up all December, so. Get your votes in and we'll see which one wins for our Christmas card. Okay, I made some cinnamon and sugar pumpkin seeds. It was really easy. All you do is like you take your pumpkin seeds and you lay them out, dry them, and then you mix together butter, brown sugar, a little bit of vanilla extract, and cinnamon. And it makes like a kind of like a paste. And then you mix the pumpkin seeds in it and you bake it. This is my first time doing it. They're kind of like sticky like. They kind of, I don't know. They don't look very good to be honest, but I think they taste good. What do you think? I don't like popcorn. Popcorn, like sweet corn mm -hmm. or like a like caramel corn. Or yeah, kettle corn. Kettle corn. Pretty crisp. They're not bad. But you don't want your pumpkin seeds chewy, you know? Mm -hmm. Like you want them to be. Oh my gosh, do I look really red? Anyways, we're gonna go outside and enjoy a fire with some friends. It's finally cold here. Yesterday it was like 80s and today it was like 60s. So, it feels amazing, but we're gonna go have a fire now. 
So good night, everybody. Have a wonderful fall. We're gonna have a wonderful fall night. Come on.